different kind of progress against cancer, improving the appearance of survivors. And in this case, an extremely rare type of natural breast reconstruction after cancer. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us it's where the tissue comes from that makes it so rare. Doctor. That's right. And, you know, women have two main options when it comes to breast reconstruction. The most common choice is an implant, silicone or saline. But for women who want to use their own tissue for reconstruction, surgeons usually take fat and skin from the belly area. But what if a woman doesn't have enough of that tissue? I'm the first one in my family to be diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. So it was a big surprise when Stacy Dunn found out that at age 46, she not only had breast cancer, she had the BRCA breast cancer gene mutation. That's what led Stacy to choose a double mastectomy to dramatically reduce her breast cancer risk. Her mastectomy removed all her breast tissue, as on the left, leaving her with skin for a reconstruction. The most common option at the top right would fill the skin with an implant. Stacy didn't want that. I started hearing about other women have had uh, other potential chronic illnesses possibly associated with their implants. The other option at bottom right was using Stacy's own tissue from her belly area, but Stacy was too thin. So doctors Neil Tanna and Mark Smith turned to an area most women and men are happy to lose, love handles. They took fat and skin from both flanks to transfer up to the chest, but the real challenge was keeping the tissue alive. Take the tissue from the love handle region on a blood vessel, find a blood vessel at the chest, and make the connections uh, between the tissue blood vessels coming from the love handles and those at the chest. Those blood vessel connections required microsurgical suturing because the vessels were as small as one millimeter, thinner than a pencil lead. And even though this operation is a bigger surgical risk, it also has advantages. It's a permanent reconstruction. Implants typically have to be replaced at some point in time. And the other thing is it feels natural. It's your own tissue. Now, the safety of breast implants has been studied extensively, and any link to autoimmune diseases and other health risks have been largely disproved. There have been, however, cases of a very rare type of lymphoma with a specific type of implant, and that implant has since been taken off the market. That operation, by the way, took 11 hours with both surgeons working full time well, for those 11 so hours. Well, it sounded so intricate. Yeah, it really is. But, you know, the, the bottom line here is it's an individual decision for the woman. Some women can go and are perfectly happy with an implant. It's a little mm -hmm. simpler. Some mm -hmm. want, you know, that their, their own tissue. The key here is it's up to the woman to make a decision. There's no right or wrong choice there. And they have a choice. That's right. You're exactly. Back. Thank you, you doctor. You bet.